just you. Beautiful, most virtuous, most elegant, and most favored of all maidens. Oh, she who the eyes of our noble prince beheld and never blinked or sweat ever again. She who melted the heart of the young lion of Emeya Kingdom. Royal by lineage, spectacular in appearance, and soon to be queen by the benevolence of the gods of our ancestors. I greet you. Bring her on, proud mother. Bring her on, head of the royal handmaidens. Bring her on, maidens of the queen's inner chambers. Bring her, for the girls are ready and waiting to receive her. Aya, aya, aya. Greguma, Greguma, Aya, if how? Oh, proud mother of the soon to be queen, the basket. Thank <laughs> you. 
her who found favor in the eyes and, and heart of our noble prince. Get ready to be crowned. Gods of Enaya Kingdom, guardians of the land and our sacred river, you who knows every secret of the living and the dead, here before you is Miss Venus, who our prince and soon to be king has chosen to be the wife, to be qualified for marriage to an Enaya prince and heir to the throne. A maiden must be a direct product of her parents, both of whom must be from Enaya and of royal birth. She must also be a virgin. Only you who are wise and truthful are allowed to confirm if a maiden is qualified or not. And that is why we are here. If Venus here is qualified, wise ones, allow me to put the crown on her head. If she's not, take the crown from my hand and return it to its place in the palace. You lied to me. You lied to me, your mother. But you are still a virgin. How could you? Mommy, I didn't lie to you. I'm still a virgin. You lied to me. The girl just confirmed that you lied by taking the crown back to the palace, Venus. Your father and I are natives of Enaya Kingdom. We are of royal lineage too. Why then would the gods reject you if you do not lie about your virginity? She's still a virgin. She did not lie, but her father is not from this land. Oche, my husband, is her father and his family lineage dates back to the very founder of this kingdom, wise one. Yes, your late husband was a noble indigen of Enaya kingdom, but he was not the biological father of Henos. Stop crying and talk to me, please. I can't stop crying, Ozoko. I, I, I just can't stop crying, my dear son. Mommy. I can't. Mom, this is not about how you feel anymore. I... Mom, it's about your reputation and that of the entire family. Mom, it's about Venus. She's so devastated. What happened dashed her dreams in a very humiliating manner? No innocent person like her deserves what happened. Mom, she lost the love of her life and her pride all in one fell swoop, Mom. I know, Zoko. Believe me, I am more devastated by what happened to my dear daughter today than you or Venus can ever imagine. I know, Mom. I know. I can see it and I can also feel it here. Venus needs to be comforted by us. And it's only the truth that can comfort her. Mom, you are the only one here that can tell her the truth. As long as this issue is concerned. That truth is one that I'm still finding difficult to accept here, my son. It's such a bitter truth, Ozoko, my son. It's so bitter and painful that I can't discuss it with anyone. Not even you, my children. Then prepare Venus. and bury me, Mom. Tell me who my biological father is. Or I'll stab myself before you hear now. Please, please, Venus. Don't kill yourself. Please drop the knife, please. I love you, Venus. I love you from my heart, please. I don't need your love right now, Mom. I don't. Tell me the name and the address of my biological father. Please trust me. You'll be better off not knowing. Do you think I am bluffing? Mom? Oh, so I'm sorry. 
But this is beyond what I can live with. Except mom tells me what I want to hear. Please calm down. Give us some time to please. No! No, 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 no. No, please. I will talk. I will tell you everything. Please don't kill yourself. Mom. I will talk. Yes, I will talk. The please. next sentence that should come out of your mouth should be the identity of my biological father. Mom, please save my sister. Or for else me. I will stab myself oh, before you. Okay, okay, oh, please okay. Save my sister for me, please. Okay. Say it. Now. Say it. Okay. I will tell you who your biological father was. <laughs> please. Please. <laughs> I know, Pami. I bought your land on a bear. What? How? Yes. Are you not here to my people again? Mr. and Mrs. Oche. On a bear. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 how we entered into the house and who we are. Well, um, we are what people like us are and nothing more. And how we made it into the house, it was very simple. Your know, house head, who was tightening up the kitchen, came out through the back door to drop the trash. She met us already waiting for her. As I speak to you right now, your gate man is tied up, gagged, and locked inside his room. <laughs> hey! Calm down. I know where you're driving to. Your house help. Your son. That's safe. So, yes. That in the children's room. Well, the house help is tied up and gagged as well. But we won't harm them. And we won't harm you people. But that's a one condition. If you cooperate with us. We will fully cooperate with you, sir. Please. Yes, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? I don't know. I don't know. We want the money. The money that Dr. Udala gave to you to buy building materials. For the house you are constructing for her hero base friend. We need that one. Oh, no, that's not the problem now. That's no problem. The money is intact. Very in, as a matter of fact, nothing has been removed from not even a copy. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I I I I hid the money in the sleep. The manhole is just by the kitchen corner there. Please, if you don't want me to go and bring it myself, please, please, Mr. Chair, don't please don't worry don't, don't, don't bother us. <coughs> I'll go for it myself. Oh, okay. Daga, take him outside. <laughs> Shoot him in the head. Oh, I'm in the point. Come like this. Please, 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 Oh, <laughs> 
He did it. He peace violated me and my marriage. He ignored my pleas and cries. He did it. But it did not end there. After raping me, he turned me into a widow. <laughs> Enjoy finish. <laughs> Maybe enjoy pass. Ocho <laughs> baby, how dare you rape my wife? You pass. Ocho baby, Ocho baby, Frank, 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 stop him, Frank, 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 Frank. Please calm down, baby. Please, baby, you enjoy yourself. How dare you? How dare you? Stop, 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 stop. How dare you like it? Frank, stop him, man. Frank, stop him. Frank, stop him. How dare you like it? Frank, stop me! Frank, you know you're looking for somebody, but I was asking you to hold the one in the front. Hey, Frank, stop me, you don't have time. evil done to my body and my soul by that cursed beast that night was responsible for the pregnancy that produced you my daughter i never knew till today at the river bank few weeks after the tragic death of my late husband i found out that i was pregnant but I never was suspected that it wasn't my husband that was responsible. I'm sorry. I never told both of you about the rape side. When I told you about my husband, how he was killed by an robber that invited my home in Enugu, it was and it's still something that is heartbreaking to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry, Venus. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Mom, you don't owe me any apology. You were a victim. You're still a victim. I am a victim. Yes, we both are victims of the gods who, whatever their reasons were, choose to make us mere clowns on the stage of fate for their queer humor. Yes, they played you and I. They utterly led us to our public humiliation without giving us any forewarning. I'm sure they're having a good laugh, wherever they are. Please, Venus, do not blaspheme in your veins. I... I don't care, Mom. I don't care whatever anyone thinks. I don't. Here in this kingdom, 
I've lost everything. My life here in this kingdom is over. I have lost love, dignity, respect, honor. What are you trying to say, Venus? I'm trying to say, if by daybreak tomorrow I don't leave this land, you both will pick up my cops. Where are you living? I am one too. I'm uh, going Venus. away from this land. I will not turn here anymore. You have us, Venus. You are part of us. And you will always be. We love you. Mom, I love you. And I love my brother as well. I love you both. And I'll forever treasure the memory I built with both of you. If I don't leave here, Mom, I'll be a living corpse in this land. Please, don't try to convince me otherwise. I'm sorry. Oh my God, please come back, Venus, Venus, please. I don't know why I kept this all these years and why I feel so strongly that I should hand this over to you now. But something deep inside of me tells me that it could become decisively useful to you somehow and someday. Take. An identity card? Yeah, I took it from your father. I took it from his pocket before the police arrived and I have kept it all these years for a reason I can't even explain now. Mom, I don't understand. Who is this? Your, your biological father. That's his identity card. Mom, I've told you I don't want anything to do with him or have anything to do with him. I don't even want to have his name. It's bad enough that his wicked, murderous and criminal blood flows in my vein. I don't want anything his family. I thought I made myself clear when I said that back home. He was a medical doctor. Yes, he was a medical doctor. And there were indeed so many things that did not quite match up about who the family and friends told the police that he was. And the wicked criminal who ravaged me that night. I wasn't interested then. But now by a cruel twist of fate, he has become linked to me in an inseparable way. I have no choice but to start reading meaning into certain things. Reading meaning into se what, what certain things, mom? Everything, son. Everything. Why did I search his corpse and took his identity card? Why did I hide it from the police and kept it all these years? Why didn't he just shoot my husband as an armed robber would when he lost it and started fighting him that night? Why did he seem frozen in shock after killing him? Which gave me the opportunity to snatch his gun and kill him. Why would he go on a robbery operation with his identity card in his pockets? Why would a medical doctor with a zero criminal record, no history of violence or drug use, and the son of a millionaire, whose wedding was just months away, go robbing and do nothing else in the operation but rape me? I do not have the answers to these questions. Maybe some days you might want to ask the same question and seek answers to them, Venus. If that day ever comes, my dear, I am deeply convinced that the identity card is something for you to start with. Keep it, please. Venus, please. Huh? Just take it, please. Yeah. Please. Okay. So. 
Cara. Ficou. Who are you? Where am I? I am, I am the spirit. I was sent by the gods of your ancestors from your father's side to doubt and bring you to this forest. This forest, that? Why this forest? Why? Why not the land of my father's birth? If my ancestors wanted me. You're a child of destiny, Venus. There's a track road, a level behind you. Find it and walk deeper into the forest through it. The gods will take care of the rest. Follow a track deeper into the forest. A totally strange environment to me. What sort of gods? What sort of destiny would come? Walk of faith. It's called walk of faith. Take the steps forward and fear not. The gods are wise. There will be no royal grand wedding until the gods 